Hey guys, welcome. It's uh, September 8th, 2023. I'm gonna do the next couple videos. I'm gonna do a pedestrian bridges. This pedestrian bridge I'm walking up here connects, they call it Bloomfield Pedestrian Bridge. How you doing? Friday. And I helped out at the Super 8 from a long time ago. And I used to come across the bridge all the time. Some guy saw the article, spent 110 hours on figuring out why this was built. And there's a church you see over there. And it was over here at the Taco Bell. Okay, Menards over here. That wanted it built in 1959, the mayor. So the kids could walk across the street, I guess. And it's super right over here, and you got Granger and Tool. So this guy I saw in the paper was dropping, he was uh, dropped his wife off at the airport, which is over there, right? East of here. And he was wondering why this pedestrian bridge was here. I'm going to do a, along the way, there's a couple, there's another one on 44 farther up by my house, which is kind of a strange spot, but whatever. There's a lot of 100 I'm going to try to get, try to drive to a couple, or easy, I got to find a couple. There was one kid that was, my buddy of mine got, his son got murdered over there by the Walmart and some kid got killed, I guess, the other day. But these pedestrians are like skyways. It's good, you can walk across. There's one over in Edina I might go to. I walked across it last winter showing you guys a park, but this gets people connected from Richfield. A lot of Latino people that live in Richfield, a lot of Latinos who live there. Like work over here at Super 8, come back and forth. People from the company go to Taco Bell. You can make it a day if you want and shop at Menards and then walk over to Granger if you want and get all your tools at once. I've done that before. So this guy spent 110 hours, went down to Kansas City to figure out why they built this. These are good. People get point A, point B. I, I get it why they're built, but to spend 110 hours, you can look it up. Bloom, Bloomfield Pedestrian Bridge, Bloomington Field, Richfield. For yourself, it'll be out there. Because he was wondering why this was built. There's a lot of things you can do with 110 hours, I guess. You can spend money on. How you doing? So, I don't get that. You go pick up garbage. But, it makes it safer to walk back and forth on the bridge. One thing sucks about this one, when there's a protest going on, people behind put signs up here and traffic gets backed up because they want to read it, right? And that's that where the police got to walk off and say, I get freedom of speech, but get the hell off. It becomes to be a problem when they put signs up here. How you doing? Honking at me. Someone's honking at me. Waving at them, appreciate it. They see me up here, they're honking at me. So I'm gonna do a couple videos, I don't know, maybe seven, eight of them coming forward here in April. You're gonna have Las Vegas coming up and then also later on when I go, we go to Vegas to see the wild. We're gonna, you're gonna see a couple ghost towns later on. I still gotta get the green line going. This kind of motor man, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna look at there's, there's the other one that I know of is up by my house up at Minnetonka, but there's a lot of 100 and a couple on 55. So there's one in Shockby there to build it. I want it to go by FedEx. So it's a waste of your time. 110 hours. What you could do with 110 hours. So I don't know. I, I, you can look it up Bloomfield Pedestrian Bridge. And they'll tell you. He said the Granger told, told, told you got Super 8 where I helped out. They take cash only. Every day I came into work, what they would do, they'd say, this is what we're looking for. The other one, other hotel, next there, there's a Culver's over there too as well. They take cash. There's always something getting arrested. So, I just thought it was interesting. For some taking much time, but pedestrian bridges are nice. Pedestrian bridges are nice. They get you across the highway without getting killed. So you can do shopping here and then walk across the bridge. 
Go to Menards, have lunch, and come on back. But people in Bloomington maybe want to work at Menards, can walk to work. I know that's a daycare right there, so let's say you live over here, but the church, the mayor at the time, said I want it to be built for the kids to go back and forth in 1959. But he was all concerned of why this was built. And he wasted 110 hours of man time going down to, I think, Missouri somewhere to archives why it got built. Well, someone was ahead of their time in 1959 and wanted to make sure it was safe for kids to walk across the street from the church. Because down there is the Walmart, so then they can have access to it. This is the strip behind me, which has changed considerably the last 25 years. It used to be a, a, a lot of carousing, a lot of drinking. Mm -hmm. Play with my a-hole. I see. Karma, karma happens to you, good or bad. Karma equals happiness. Usually, with some of these ones up there. So here we go, here we go. Minnesota Highway Department, bridge number 9078, 1959. So there you go. There it is. Interesting to say the least, huh? So, uh -oh. bridge, I love it, number 9075. We'll put that in the, uh, in the, in the notes. Up we go. I just thought it was kind of hilarious, but you can, but you can tell how solid this is. Real strong steel, strong cement. This thing is 60, I'm whatever, yeah, 60 something, 63 years old, and it's solid. Real steel, real cement. No chemicals, no nothing. You don't see this thing coming down. Yeah, it's some cracking, but I just figured. I don't know, I wanted to do some of these pedestrian bridges and kind of give you a history around here. You got Arby's over here. You got a railroad bridge over there I could walk across over there. But nothing's going on over there. I just think it's, and of course you got garbage. But if you, you know, you live either in Richfield or you live in Bloomington and you want to work at Menards or you live in the apartments, there's a Hertz rental right there. You can walk across it. It saves a lot of lives with these things. That's, you can go back and forth. It's not wheelchair accessible. Some I'm going to go on later on in Edina by the high school, the, whatever it is, they do have wheelchair accessible. This is an old school one. You can't, you have to walk in there. But, yep, a guy spent all this time, how, what, when it was built, whatever, so. What do you guys think, huh? But you can go shopping at Menards. I had lunch. I might, I might go across that rail. I might go across that railroad bridge for fun before I head down 100. So. So yeah, I just figured let's kind of do some of these things for fun. We'll see what happens here. So. We'll uh, head on down the hill. What do you think, huh? Here's your first pedestrian bridge. You can kind of see it up here. Man. We go down the bridge, down the hill. Doon, doon, I'll go the lights. How you doing? So 
So anyways, guys, we'll see you on the next one.